She's in there, she's got my transcript. Hmm, Matthew, I see you got a C in microgenetics. What happened? I see you're a guidance counselor. What happened? <laughs> I am 600 feet tall. <laughs> I have an observation deck on my skull. If you want to jump off because you hate your mom, you can commit suicide right off the dome. Last year there was a plot to fly an airplane into me. <laughs> Do you remember when a few years ago it was revealed that the DC snipers were black? I, I didn't get upset about it. I was a little jealous. I never had a dad to do stuff with. <laughs> My grandmother was a first-generation American, so I never got to learn the traditional American nursery rhymes. She taught me the unique Jewish nursery rhymes, like, Old Nick Bernstein had a farm, but the Nazis burned it down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I am Hawaiian, Puerto Rican, Korean. Deal with it. <laughs> I am too lazy to steal your car. <laughs> and if I do, I'm a real bad driver. <laughs> I read plenty of comic books growing up. Uh, God, I still have like thousands of them back home in uh, storage. Uh, well, mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> Now you go deeper, let me get these ghetto liquor stores. I don't know if you guys have seen them. They, uh, you can buy one of everything. You can buy one cigarette, one match for that cigarette. <laughs> buy one M&M, &M, so you're really buying the M. <laughs> All my life I have devoted for finding the perfect relationship. Uh, preferably a, a woman. <laughs> White women, black women, Asian. tall women, Asian American women. <laughs> um, but you know what? And fat women. A lot of fat women. <laughs> uh, fat men. <laughs> a lot of fat men. <laughs> My dad used to have a big head when he was growing up. Remember the afros? Yeah. Kids used to teach me about his afro because it was huge and always had like a two second delay. <laughs> you know, he'd walk around, Kayla! <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, the thing about kids is, like, those kids, they wear you down, man. Kids, I mean, if you're parents, you know, kids just slowly beat you the fuck down. Especially the ones that go through that why stage. You know, they're always asking you questions. You give them an answer, that's not enough. It's always why, why. It's like, coach, why is the ice slippery? Well, it's the water, it froze over. Because the pipes underneath is real cold, it turns to ice. Why? Because it makes it easier to skate, skate faster, have fun playing hockey. Why? It's fucking magic, okay? What do you want? Hockey coach, for Christ's sake. So they keep fucking asking these questions. Okay. And so I thought, you know what? This is what we'll do. We'll take these kids and we'll get them to interrogate all those prisoners at fucking Guantanamo Bay. Because he 
she's our leader. What? <laughs> because you're infidels and we hate you. 